Today's lesson is called Night and Day, and it's using a timer. You can see it's shown here in the to-do section, Night and Day. And we're using timers to explore a scene, changing from night to day. And it's going to go and count for marks. So everyone needs to pay very good attention to the board. So you will find your work in the to-do section. Now I'm going to show you in the coding section, because I'm going to open it. I don't want to do it as a to-do, because I'm not a, ch a child at school. I'm the teacher. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go launching app. You won't do it this way. You'll go to the to-do section. And the first one says, make a timer that shows the sun after five seconds and changes the background color to light blue. It must show the sun after five seconds and we know it's about 12 hours more or less before the sun comes up. So here we are simulating, but in five seconds would be like 12 hours in the world. I'm on YouTube. I don't think you want me to talk to you now. So I'm going to just come and help you in a minute, but you need to first timer. And remember it says show the sun after five seconds. So I'm going to go up with this green arrow that's pointing up. Green arrow pointing down. So I'm going to go with up, three, four. The numbers are going up, five. After five seconds, it says, shows the sun. I'm going to show what? The sun. So I'm going to remember it's in the timer block. The five seconds afterwards, the sun must be shown. So there, show the sun. And, look, it says and. So I must do and changes the background to light blue. So I can't put the background there because if I put the background there, it's going to set the color to light blue. Then it's setting the, when I press this button, it goes into play mode, the back, background's light blue. And that's not right. I have to have the background must also be part of the after five seconds code in the after five seconds timer the timer event now let's see if it works yes one two three four five here we go and that means that the timer records time so the second challenge remember now we've got this code this is our base make a timer that hides the sun now we all know that that would be night time after five seconds and changes the background color to black so look over here don't get confused look at the board after five seconds this is the daytime so now the night time comes but this would be five seconds and then it would be after five seconds then it'll be what's this one gonna be Okay, because remember, after five seconds, the sun comes. So if I make this one ten seconds, then we could have the sun will not hide. It'll hide because it's nighttime. The sun goes away in night. So it'll hide. Look at the hide event. And then the background will not be light blue. Because it'll be set the color to black. Let's see. I don't know if that'll work because I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the sun comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it's going. It's working. So remember, we have night and day being simulated in the time of each five second interval. In reality, in life, it'll be 12 hours. So here we have a simulation of time. We're making time much faster. Incidentally, this gets you to think a lot about what time is really about. If you had to see a little ant and he saw a puddle of water, he might say it's a big lake, but you'll say it's a small puddle. There's different understandings of that. Now this one says, help the code monkey to fix the sunset. After five, cent, five seconds, the sun shows. That's right. And it goes light blue. After 10 seconds, I'm going with up, then we're going to have the sun must not get bigger. Scale means get larger. 
We have to change that. So you guys are going to have to adapt that to change this scale to be something else. The sun disappears. And then the background color would not be white. You guys know in the nighttime, the color is going to change not to be white, but it'll be it's night. And this 11 seconds ain't right. It's got to be 10 seconds. Okay, so see if you can do that one. And when you also do these activities, do practice. Now look over here. Do get used to using this. This is stepping through the code. I'm just showing you something new. Pause. Play. If I pause and I start, look. There it's stopped. I've put what's called a break point on the first block. And then I want to go to the next line. Look at this shoe. I'm going to step to the next line. Next block goes here. 11 seconds. And then I press on this to step through. Look, it's going sun shows. And then the sun shows. And you're stepping through the coat. And this, I forgot to mention to you guys, is called the variable watch. Now, a variable is when the computer remembers some bit of information. Look, the sun is at X. That's the X position. And the Y position, the scale, and the speed, all of that's written over here. That's in the variable watch. Good luck with this activity. I must stress one point. Do all the challenges. When you get your five stars, don't think you're finished. You still have to make your own application. You need to build your own piece to get your reward. Remember, you get a reward if you manage to get everything done. The five stars plus the making of it when you do it, your own challenge and you make your own. Good luck with it, grade threes. I'm sure you're going to do a marvelous job being the people you are. I can explain that to you because she's so smart. So we're doing this activity. Look, it says night and day. Now we know that time is night and day. 12 hours, more or less, then the sun comes up. And then another 12 hours, then the sun goes down. Then it goes nighttime, then daytime, and nighttime, and daytime. Or you could say daytime, then nighttime. Depends on how you look at it. So we use timers. Now timers, over there, timers. Now let me show you how you do this activity so that you all get full marks. And thank you to the learners who are listening because I've been harping on about being intelligent. And you guys know that intelligent people use the tools like computers to be intelligent. So you using your ears now to be more intelligent and your eyes by looking. As I show you this stuff, you like looking and learning to, so you can be smarter. Look over here, from night to day, it says make a timer that shows the sun after five seconds and changes the background color to light blue. Let's do it quickly. Watch, it says a timer. Look, there's a little clock on it. Make it nice and big. After five seconds, it says shows the sun after five. Now I'm going to go with the up arrow, three, four, five. So after five seconds, it must show the sun. So the sun, look at what's in this block over here. The sun must show. Okay, then you see the sun is showing. And then it says, and changes. That means it must become different. The background color to light blue. Drag. And I mustn't put it there. I must put it in this block there. The background color. So set color. Look, it says set color to light blue now being colorblind i probably i don't know if that is light blue but then oh, there we go luckily i've got people in this class who always help me right so five it's almost five seconds there five seconds this is counting five seconds next challenge and we'll just go to that one quickly this one says make a timer that hides the sun so that's going to simulate now notice the word simulate night time this is the daytime look here here's the daytime code now you are imagining that you could make a whole world on your computer that makes night and daytime. So it comes nighttime then daytime. How cool is that? Never in the whole of human history did you find children that could make such amazing coding that you could simulate day and night. Now look, here we go. I know when I was a little boy, I used to put a 
a blanket over my head, and I imagine it's nighttime. Then I take the blanket off, then I look and I see, well, it's daytime again. And that's how we used to do it. But now you're doing it with computers. So look over here, timer. So that's five seconds. So, and this is going to be not ten seconds. Then it'll be the sun. This one's making the show the sun. This one, nighttime. Hide the sun. Thank you, whoever spoke there. And then the background. Look where I'm putting the background, Gugu. It must be, set the color not to blue, but black. There we go. Now you got this code and that code. Look, where, look how they, this is the daytime. This code block is the nighttime. And we're using the timer. So let's play it and see. Yeah. Four, three, four, five. There we go. And then it'll another five seconds. Look, it'll go nighttime. There we go. Now it's going to go another five seconds. Daytime. And that's like one day gone by. Now it's going to the second day. And it's taking a while. Is it going to come? Is it going? Oh, it's not, it's not repeating. So it'll go, and then it goes to day and night coming again and again. Okay, so now we go to the next one. Look at this one. It says, changes the background. You've got to find the mistake. Right. So if you go over here, the next one, let's see, did it go to the next challenge? Five seconds, next challenge. And here we go. You guys can watch this video over here if you've gone there. There's always a video, and you can go to the help files. Help the code monkey to fix the sunset. So there's a mistake. You've got to find the mistake. Look there. Scale. You've got to make it. And look at the color in the nighttime code. And look at the time. So there's a mistake in the time, the nighttime color, and the scale. And once you've done that, you make your own. Now I must stress the importance of making your own. When you finish this challenge, you get five stars. But if you do the one where you make your own, you get a reward. That'll be your reward because you manage to use the knowledge of the challenges. You use that knowledge to make your own. Good luck, guys. I'm sure you're going to do very well, well with this activity. And thank you for listening. And this is called a variable watch, eh? This is just showing you the variables. Look, look at the position of the sun. 3.46 on the x-axis and on the y, 307. If I change it... And I move it, it would go there. The sun could move in a different position. As the sun does in reality. But it's not really the sun moving, guys. Do you know it only looks like the sun's moving? It's the earth that's moving around the sun. And that's, in the olden days, they used to believe that the sun moves. But it wasn't really, it's not real. The sun doesn't move, it's the earth moving. Okay, so that's called an optical illusion. It only looks like that. Like when you see a giant, and the giant is far away. He's so far. Then Sophie says, look, that's a small little man. But he's a giant because he, he only looks small because he's very far away. Did you ever see a tree? And it's a big tree, but when it was far away, it looked like a small tree. Okay, it's called perspective. I suppose your art teacher taught you about that. Bigger and smaller, uh, equivalent to the distance from the human eye. How far they are away from the human eye. Anyway, guys, good luck and thank you.